The town of Shagam stood still on Saturday, April 6, 2024, to celebrate the 80th birthday of Prince Olure, Dr. Lukoya Delikadidwe, Baba Soludero. The celebration started on the morning of Saturday with a traditional ceremony at his residence, which included bedroom dance, prayers, and homages, where prayers were made in the traditional way for the celebrants. His wife, children, and family members, both immediate and extended. <laughs> This was immediately followed with a thanksgiving service held at Rev. Mellon Methodist Cathedral. Agbawa Shagam, Remo Ogun State. The bishop during his short sermon prayed for Dr. Lukoya and his family. He further encouraged the congregants to live a life worth emulating and move closer to God, citing that it's only God that is capable of keeping a man to the days of his old. In attendance for the church Thanksgiving service as Royal Majesty, Oba Dr. Bawatili Adewali Ajayi, Torumbu Atu, Jakaribu and Paramount Ruler of Remoland, and also the chairman of the State Council of Obas, bishops and members from the House of Clergy, Remo Councils of Obas, political associates and government representatives, Honorable Funilayo F. Wapwe, Chief of Staff of the Akari Group, Bamofin of Bremeland and many other dignitaries. To conclude the judge Thanksgiving service, the celebrant and his family were called forward for prayers, which was immediately rounded off with a communion service.
The ceremony was then rounded off with a majestic reception ceremony at the Afina Karibu Paris Hall, where dignitaries, political associates, and family members gathered to celebrate the octogenarian. The reception also witnessed the presence of friends, colleagues, political associates, and people of great societal value. I am highly excited today. I thank God for me to see those who are here today. Uh, I am pleased and I think God has done me well. I am not surprised because, because I paid my dues. I've done well. I know that. And um, I am a grad, grad host man. And therefore, I, I am not surprised that they are here today. I didn't, I, I didn't call them, but on their own, they believe that they should be here, and they are here. For the youth, they should take it easy. Life is not in a hurry. They should take it easy, and I can assure them that sky is the limit for them. I'm so excited that God gave him Okay. Good health to be alive today. And for they those people, the, the children and all the family, the friends that surrounded us, we thank God and very happy with them. It's embodiment of virtue. It's very honest, hardworking, patient, kind, and very reliable. For him, good health and long life. Well, I'm very excited. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, he is always there for us. Uh, his children are not just in the U.S. but here and he makes everybody feel like they are his children and whether it is his brothers, his sisters, his grandchildren, his children, his cousins, his brother, that's the general generous nature of my father. Kind-spirited, kind-spirited. He has enough heart and, uh, and love to give to everyone and he's always been there uh, for the family and um, He's done us proud and we'll do him proud in, in his name and in, um, in the family's name. Well, we wish him many, many returns. Uh, may he have long health. Um, may he be healthy. Uh, may he see many, many more years. And just to continue to live with a kind heart and God-fearing uh, uh, spirit. I wish him all the best. He's done very, very well for us. Uh, we give him joy even though we're not here. Uh, we are based in the United States, but um, he's someone that we really love and dear. And we're happy to, to have him and happy that the community can have him too. Um, very briefly, uh, my father is a very caring, empathetic and loving man. He's always been taking care of us kids. Um, and now he takes care of the extended family as well. Um, we're blessed to have him around for his 80th. and. Um, hope that he'll be around for many more years. Well, um, I'll say that I'm not surprised because like I said, my father is a very caring, empathetic man. He always tries to help and I think that, that that's what garnishes favor from everybody and people want to come um, and celebrate with him um, this big milestone. I myself um, have been, haven't been in Nigeria for 25 years um, and I made it a point to come over and celebrate this milestone. So um, I'm pleased uh, um, that everybody else could join. Um, it's a big, big event, um, and I'm thankful to everybody, all the guests that have come today. Well, um, you know, to continue to do what he has been doing, um, to keep in good health, um, and um, joy, and um, I think primarily for me it's health. Um, at, this, at this stage of life, you know, I want to see him active, just like he always was, and I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Uh, you know, I was very excited. Uh, it's my first time in Nigeria, so very excited to be here and uh, celebrate his birthday and get to see him. I know he's very happy that I'm here. And uh, yeah, uh, it's very different to the U.S., right, where I live. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, people are people and there's nice people and there's bad people. I've met, a, luckily I've met a lot of nice people here. So yeah, it's all good. I, I just wish him good health um, and many more years. Well, um, number one is a father. Number two, he happens to be my orca. Mm. Number three, mm. he happens to be uh, an ex student of my school, which is a Grammar School. 
You understand? Though, you know, he left the school many, many years before I even got to the school. So since then, we met again in Abekuta as uh, when he was the general manager, uh, Ogepa. Later, he became the commissioner for environment. And so he's a very plain man. He loves everyone. And he will, not, he will never say you are younger than himself. Or He takes everyone, like some of us, he takes us as his son, as his colleagues, as his friend. So that's just the kind of person he is. Well, uh, he, he has joined the, the League of the Octogenarians. You understand me? So my prayer is just for him to live more years on earth to reap the fruits of his labor. You understand me? Because being an 80 does not mean uh, that's the end. You understand me? We wish him many more years on earth. Baba is an able person. Uh, he's a father. He's a grandfather. And he's uh, endured. And somebody that is uh, emulating. Somebody that one can, you know, copy from. Baba, that's what Baba is. Uh, my prayer to Baba is that uh, for Almighty God to give me, to give me good, give him good health, so that he can be able to perform more than what he has performed before. Though he's an old man, but he still has energy on him, and we are expecting more from him as a child.
Get down, down.